Our leaders passed earlier today. Dan. Well, Ian, several big items before the council today. Councilors approved $1.7 million worth of incentives to encourage Birmingham-based Shift to expand. The grocery delivery company is growing, expected to add nearly 900 jobs in the next few years. The city has a new program to help businesses with the cost of recruiting a talented workforce. Councilor John Hilliard says it's a good use of money for a key downtown business. We have to have a flagship in Birmingham and in our, and in our city to, to move forward. So to pass through downtown and see that ship uh, emblem up on the, on the John Hand building is very important. It's the council also investing in fighting crime, approving nearly $600,000 for the Shot Spotter program. Part of that money will expand Shot Spotter coverage now for the entire city. The technology allows police to see in real time when and where guns are fired. We just want to be able to catch those individuals who choose to shoot, and I don't care even if it's celebratory. Police say ShotSpotter helps them solve crimes and better protect citizens. And if you have unpaid parking tickets, you may be getting a break. Today, the council approved an amnesty program. It's for parking tickets and some moving and non-moving violations. Basically, you have 60 days to pay your tickets, and the city will waive all late fees. It runs from July 17th to September 17th. But City leaders say don't expect amnesty forever. In fact, the mayor says people in the Magic City can expect tougher enforcement of traffic laws beginning now. Sherry? When it comes to a Birmingham based shift, the Jefferson County Commission is also expected to discuss an incentives package for the company. The commission president wouldn't comment on the deal today, but he did tell us it's very important to keep businesses in Jefferson County as well as bring in new ones. According to a legal notice printed on July 1st, the commission could vote up to $720,000 in incentives later this week. Several members of the commission met with the city last week to talk about possible solutions uh, like to, uh, city of Fairfield that is like declaring bankruptcy furloughs for employees or even disbanding the police department. However, the commission decided today it won't offer any help to the city unless it asked. We have resources here uh, that, that we would be able to utilize.